Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon, and welcome to another episode of Gotham Season 2. Before I jump into this episode, I want to say a big thank you to Ollie Brown and Frank Treble for your support, guys. You are today's Patreon super supporters. As always, I appreciate your support. Uh, for everyone else, you can find full episode reactions in the Patreon link below, as well as other cool perks. Uh, you support the channel, you get rewards. Everybody wins. It's great. Um, but yeah, moving on to this episode, we have, well, I mean, we had like a little mini two episode arc that showed us the introduction of Victor Freeze, um, who is Mr. Freeze, his wife, terminally ill, trying desperately to find a way to save her um, through cryogenics, um, you know, by freezing her until someone can find a cure, you know, he would be able to save her life. As we saw over the two episodes, it didn't quite work out. He, uh, he'd he gone a bit rogue and had been testing on humans um, with very limited success up until the final uh, specimen. However, when he was chased by the police, uh, his wife decided that she did not want to suffer through, you know, uh, the pain anymore. And she didn't fancy waking up to a world, um, you know, where her husband might not be there. You know, he was going to go to prison for a long time. So she switched out the cartridges, he blasted her, she fell apart. Um, in his despair, he killed himself with one of the ice grenades, or, uh, sorry, with the um, connection from the gun. Um, he just froze himself self completely, um, but was reanimated in Indian Hill. And he's in like more of a classical Mr. Freeze form now, with the white hair, the blue eyes, and having to stay below a certain temperature to be able to survive. It was a pretty cool uh, story arc, and, and it's, again, another way of easing us into the Indian Hill story, because, you know, we saw at the end of the episode that Galavan is currently in some kind of incubation tube, presumably being reanimated again. Um, so, you know, we may all see our favourite villains again at some point down the line. Who knows? Um, this could be a way of just temporarily killing them off just to bring them back. Um but yeah, it's um, it's been a, a rough kind of season for for Jim Gordon and, and company, and especially Penguin. Penguin's stuck in the mental asylum, um, and he's really not doing well under the watchful eye of um, Hugo Strange, or is it Lufa Strange? It's one of the two. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, we're gonna jump into this episode and see what happens next. He's going to kill his own mother. Oh, wow. That's what they're showing him in there? No. Maybe he's heard from her. I didn't feel like it was right to worry him. I just want to know that she's all right. Surely Jim's got to get suspicious now, knowing that Penguin no, no, was sorry. staying with uh, Ed. Why don't you know what I find? Yeah, he's suspicious, I can tell. Remember, let me do the talking. I know to handle this type one. Good afternoon, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Hope we find you well. <laughs> We're hoping to have a little chat with a gentleman called Cupcake. I'm not about money, little boy. I'm about respect. No uh -oh. fight, no deal. No matches, no exit. Alfred's going to murder this dude. I, well, I suppose, you know. Come on, he's SAS. Cupcake, if you put it like that. Hit him. Get it on! The other thing, of course, Master Bruce, to remember, is that timing is everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alfred. Dirty tactics. <laughs> he went full on cockney. Who was Sam? Oh, yeah, go on. Go on, Alfred. Put him to sleep. I love it. He goes for a long cockney. You're a tough old cat. Not too shabby yourself, Mr. Cupcake. <laughs> 50 grand. Any reason to go alone? It's going to kill the man. I mean, I, I told him not to. I said, you're too young to kill him. I said, I'd do it for him. Again, we're the cops. Do not tell us <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> it's, it's, 
it's not that he's saying you shouldn't be doing this. It's don't tell us this stuff. We have to report it. Tell me where he is. Bruce, I can't let you do this. Oh shit. They, yeah, <laughs> they're gonna help Bruce escape. <laughs> Matches below. <clears throat> That's Jack from Breaking Bad. What? Kids now. <laughs> Is this a ploy? Jack, stealing him. He's gonna grow up and be a strong man one day. Well, if he lives long enough. Oh, he will. Oh, you have no doubt. If you don't make me and you have no idea Andy, how strong he will be. State, isn't it? You are the infamous Jim Gordon. <laughs> Everybody knows about your temper. You killed my parents. Oh, oh shit. Are we about to get an admission? Don't cut it there. Keep your hands where I can see them. Two years ago, an alley in the theater district, you killed my mother and father, Thomas and Martha Wayne. I Come on, he surely knows who Bruce Wayne is. Rings a bell. You looked right at me. I was busy that year. Oh, shit. See, when he realizes it's not personal. My parents were important people. No, not to him. If I did what you think I did, then I made you what you are. An Just orphan. Like Gotham made me. Just like the rich folks, like your parents made Gotham. Oh. I might as well call you son. Oh, shit. I can make you tell me who hired you. You think so? I could hurt you. No. I can shoot you in the knee. Why? A rich kid like you wouldn't understand. When he said he was tired, he didn't mean physically. He meant mentally. You start to wonder if you're really God. Jeez, this is pretty messed up. It's all about faith. Tighten your left hand grip. Aim right here. A little low. It's okay. Oh shit. He's giving him instructions on how to shoot him. Come on, pull the damn trigger. I wish you were a monster. But you're just a man. Don't put the gun on the table. With the killer in the room. Oh, shit. And Bruce will never know. And I mean, that's assuming he was telling the truth. Oh, it's the ice cream dude. Oh, shit. Also, there is a picture of Victor Fries you are on the desk. You insane and normal as any other citizen. Miss Peabody, even. I don't know. I, don't know what that means. I think they did something to him. No more therapy. Oh, well, you've been right so far. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Straight Hugo. <laughs> for I don't know. Being such a kind mentor and friend. I don't know what the play is here on both sides. About. Thank you so much for your own safety. Oh shit. Deeper plans. Deeper than building semi-human creatures in the basement. I'm sure I don't want to know. Thank oh shit, much. she knows. On your head be it. Yeah, she's down there with him. Oh. I bet you will. Acting like you forgot all about Kristen Kringle. I'm sure you forgot. You're right. Thanks. You suspect me somehow. It must be it. You're trying to lull me in 
to a false sense of security while the claws of your investigation close around me, eh? Is that it, my uh -oh. lord? You take me to be a fool? Stop talking to yourself, Ed. In the streets, in the slums, in the bad parts of town. So that's where I'm going. He's lost his mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's a noble thing. Battling muggers or anything. But one day I am going to do something to help the people of Gotham. I don't you will. know quite yet. But I will. The planning begins. Is it going to be the riddle? The riddle sign? It's a question mark. Yeah. Okay, so an episode full of surprises for me personally. Um, from Penguin to Bruce, it's not what I really expected. Um, firstly, I expected the guy to not be the killer. Uh, matches Malone, I expected him to deny murdering it and for the investigation to carry on um i expected him to be very different you know the moment he said i could fight back but i'm tired i kind of i kind of felt like he meant in not in a physical sense of oh i'm just too knackered tonight you know i can't be bothered you know i had the feeling that he was like i'm just tired of this life i'm tired of you know of doing this um and, you know, it, it's definitely a very interesting take on a, a you know, an assassin, a, a hired gun, you know, it's, he, he lost faith because he didn't get punished. That is a very interesting concept for a character. And, you know, credit to the writers for, for doing it that way. Um, it does mean that Bruce doesn't really get that closure of knowing who it was who hired him, or knowing why exactly his parents had to die. He might get that at some point in the future, I'm not sure. He he managed to get a resolve from it, though. That experience gave him the foresight to be like, right, I need to actually learn about what is causing all of this crime, and what, what is causing all this suffering in the city. And, you know, that's that's the route for, for him going forward, is he wants to spend some time on the streets with the poorest, with the you know, where the crime exists, you know, because he's not going to learn about that in a mansion. Um, and I guess this is the core of his beliefs as Batman, that, you know, you can't murder someone because it just makes it worse. You don't fight crime with crime. Um, you know, and that's a very interesting take on his beliefs as Batman um, and not wanting to kill. So I really, really like that. Um, it will be interesting to see where it goes from here. You know, I've got a feeling that he's going to get into some rough and tumble adventures with selena um i do hope that we see more of alfred you know i feel like this has the potential to put alfred on a bit of a break um but i love alfred as a character i love the fact he goes all cockney when he gets really aggressive um and you know they make a really good pairing the super penguin was another surprise you know i never know what the true intentions are um, because Penguin is such a complex character, I was sitting there and thinking, okay, well, is Penguin just playing along on the idea that if he plays along, he might escape? Um, but it seems like it could be genuine. It could be genuine that he his experiences and the therapy was making him docile and less aggressive. But I've got a feeling that's not going to last long. The moment he's back out on the streets, I think he's going to go back to his old ways. But it does make me wonder whether they maybe did something to him during those therapy sessions um you know hugo said he is an experiment so i'm thinking did they implant some kind of command in him or some is he able to control him i don't know um we'll see it maybe genuinely is just a a plan to see if he if he is rehabilitated i don't know it just seems very surprising that this once crime lord of gotham you know now captured has been released again um and of course, we're seeing the development of the Riddler, which is a great, great concept, um, a great character. And I like the way they've really slowly moved into it. Um, and now Ed is really starting to ramp up the craziness 
Um, so it was a really good episode. I loved the messages behind it. I loved the the swerves. You know, the the complete differences in what I expected. Um, I never expected us to to find Bruce Wayne's parents killers um, or killer, I should say. You know, he was he was the man who pulled the trigger. But who were the people who ordered the hit? If there were any, that's what you've got to think now. And I think Bruce's obsession now is going to change from finding his parents' killer to ridding Gotham of everything that is wrong. And I think it was what that criminal said is that, you know, he was born of Gotham. Gotham was born of people like uh, Bruce Wayne's parents, you know. Um, But great episode. Really loved it, you know. Um, Not the most action-packed episode in the world. Not the fanciest episode in the world. But a really good meaning behind it. And a really good, strong, psychological story. So, uh, yeah. Enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you for the next episode.